Good day everyone! In this video, we're gonna talk about projectile motion and two dimensions. And before we start, let me introduce myself first. My name is Kyle Vincent Nur from STEM 2A. Okay, let's get start to our discussion for today. And again, it's all about projectile motion and two dimensions. Kinematics, motion in two dimensions. Based on my research, Kinematics, motion in two dimensions, many motion can be simplified to two dimensions. For example, an object fired into the air moves in a vertical, two-dimensional plane. Also, a horizontal motion over the Earth's surface is two-dimensional for short distances. And what does it mean to be two-dimensional kinematics? Motion in two dimensions involves vector quantities, displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Under ordinary circumstances, we can separate the components of a two-dimensional problem, creating two independent one-dimensional problem. In two-dimensional projectile motion, the projector can move both vertically and horizontally. Like this ball, for example, is moving 30 degrees up from the horizontal to the right. And it's moving vertically up as well. At sabihin natin na ang bola na ito ay ibabato at ang kanyang bilis ay 50 meter per second. So, it's gonna have a horizontal component moving to the right. And it's going to have a vertical component moving to the up. At tawagin natin ang horizontal component velocity in x direction and the vertical component y direction. So, ang ating gagamitin ngayon ay trigonometry or right triangle para masolve ang ating vertical velocity and the horizontal velocity. At alam naman natin na ang vertical velocity y is the opposite side of the 30 degrees. So, ilalagay natin dito ay opposite. At alam naman natin na sa horizontal side is the adjacent side of 30 degrees. Ilalagay natin adjacent. At ang 50 meter per second is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. At ngayon ay gagamitin natin ang so katoa to solve this right triangles. So, is sin is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. Co is the cosine equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. At ang dalawang ito lang ang ating gagamitin. At umpisa natin sa sign. So, the sign of 30 degree is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. And their opposite side is equal to dy over the hypotenuse. At alam natin na ang hypotenuse is 50. So, it's b over 50. At kung isusulat natin muli ang equation na ito in terms of our vertical velocity, our vertical velocity by is going to be equal to 50 times the sine of 30 degrees. At alam naman natin na ang sine of 30 is equal to 1 up. So, the vertical velocity is equal to 50 times 1 up or 25. At ilalagay natin ngayon, ang vertical velocity is y is equal to 25 meter meter per second. And it is the same thing for our horizontal velocity. Ayan, balik tayo sa Sokatoa. At sa pagkakataong ito, ang atin naman gagamitin ay ka cosine is equal to adjacent over the hypotenuse. At our cosine of 
of 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent side. It is a horizontal velocity V x over the hypotenuse and it is 50 meter per second. Okay, ngayon, isulat naman natin muli ito in terms on our horizontal velocity. dx. We know that dx is is going to be equal to 50 times the cosine of 30 degrees. And we know that the cosine of 30 degree is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So, ang ating horizontal velocity dx is equal to 50 times the square root of 3 over 2. So, dx is equal to 50 times square root of 3 over 2. At muli ang ating units are in meters per second. So, okay. Now, we separate everything into out vertical and our horizontal components. And we can use our kinematics formula. At ang ating pagkakakandandaan, manatiling consistent either using vertical components or horizontal components.